Welcome to the Body Shop Physical Therapy. My name is Katherine Price and I'm a physical therapist. Please consult your medical doctor or physical therapist for the appropriateness of exercises for you. I am going to share with you how to do the pelvic floor strengthening exercises using a blood pressure cuff for biofeedback. So to do this, you just want to have a um, manual blood pressure cuff. You're gonna let all the air out of it, fold it in half, and you're going to use the dial on here. So what I like to do is set it at the very first tick, which is gonna be 20, and you're just looking at the change on the tick. So we'll start with the pelvic floor. There's Lacey. Come on, Lacey. So we're gonna start with the first, what's the pelvic brace. You're gonna be on your back and you'll take your uh, blood pressure cuff and the, um, your pump coming out of the side, the tubes, you're just gonna lie it flat and this is gonna go under the lumbar spine, so the very low back. So I'll just place that there. And then I'm going to pump that dial up till I see the tick at 20, cause I'm gonna use that as my starting point so i'm just gonna and i want to be in a neutral relaxed position before i add pressure or add the and you can see as you um tighten your abdominals and you put pressure down into that cuff the needle should go up so i've got my needle at 20 so you just want to check get the needle at a baseline and then for my pelvic brace, so what we're gonna do is stop our flow of urine. So we're gonna pull up and in, engaging the pelvic floor. And as I do that, I naturally will start to engage the transverse abdominal muscle, which will then apply pressure. And you should see the needle rising. If the needle's not rising, then we're not getting uh, the core contracted. And that's why the needle's gonna help you to encourage you in that direction. So you want to do your pelvic brace, your pelvic floor um, contraction, and then add the lower abdominals. So I'm going to take a breath in, breathing out. I will pull up and in, stopping my flow of urine, and then slowly, like dimming on a light, I'm drawing my navel into my spine, and I'm up 10 pounds of pressure, and then I'm gonna relax. Now, if the needle falls below that 20 mark, then you just want to repump to calibrate. And you can be anywhere on here. I just start, you don't want air to be in there. You don't want to be pushing the, on the spine. You just want enough to give you a baseline to start with. So I've got my needle set at 20. And then I'm going to take a breath in as I breathe out. Pulling up and in, drawing my navel to my spine. I've got it to 40, so I'm holding it there, holding it there, holding it there. Hold, 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 hold. And this is where you can use this and do your brace and just watch the needle and keep it there using your muscle contraction. Well, this is gonna be the basis for everything else. So once you, and sometimes when your pelvic floor is really weak in your core, you may not get but even five pounds of pressure or even a couple pounds. It may take a while just to in find, figure out how to engage that area. So once you are getting familiar with using the cuff and getting that nice pelvic brace and holding that in, um, you don't want to push through your feet, so that's another tendency. You don't want to push through your feet to, to tilt the pelvis backward. You want to use your core muscles to be up placing the pressure to give you that biofeedback. So here we go. I'm going to start again. I've got to get my baseline. So I'm starting at 20, taking a breath in. As I breathe out, Stopping my flow of urine, engaging my lower abdominals, and tighter, 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 and I'm going past 40 on this one so I can continue to work on getting that further and further. And the needle is going to help so that it gives you that encouragement to hold the contraction 
or um, increase the contraction. So this is what your um, dial is going to look like. You just want to pump to the first um, tick and then you're going to engage the muscle group, watch that needle go up, and then hold as best you can um, for the exercise. So then when you go to do the knee out, the leg slides, you're going to watch to keep that needle there. If the needle drops, that means you've let go, so you want to stop the exercise, re-engage the muscle, and then continue on. So I like the blood pressure cuff because it's going to keep you honest with if you're keeping your brace uh, strong while you're going through the pelvic floor rehab strengthening exercise routine. So that is how you use the blood pressure cuff for biofeedback with the pelvic floor strengthening. Have a blessed day.